Greetings, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. You may notice right away that I've already run myself over back to here. That's because I needed to double check that my recording software was working properly. Now then, let's get the warp going. I have a designated place to be. Nope. Nope. So the Pharaoh's Lockstone, rather than just giving treasure, opened up a completely new area. I'm looking forward to this. The reason I'm looking forward to this is manifold. Yep. Ha. Whoop. Nope. Not starting that off like that. Oh, hey. Guess this one ate somebody again. I think this time I'll try two-handing it when I go to kill the dog. Now then. Finishing the pod. I can do that occasionally. Oh, ah, that worked out excellently. Better than I had thought. Which is not saying much because I hadn't thought much to begin with. Now then, I am looking forward to this mostly because... I can get a view on it. I'm hoping that somewhere in this... wherever this is, I can get a glimpse of... Either the boss that I'm pretty sure is going to be waiting for me through that next fog door. I don't hear anything, and I had the ring of whispering on. That's mildly worrisome. But nevertheless, finishing thought, I would really like to get a look at either the boss... What? Oh, you're friendly. That's nice. Or not. That's a big pile of bodies. Oh, you're quite short. I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh, Lord. Keep that stuff off, Bell! The great bell of Arkham. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice. Slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be met. Stay back all your pieces. Okay, then. That makes... Fucking hell. Well, this is the problem. All I required ahead. Uh, uh. I don't much favor my chances of victory. Even if I try to use some sort of strategic emplacement like this thin belfry. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! I have to fix this. I'll be right back. Sorry about this, but, you know, just... Ugh, I guess I'm going to have to restart the game and maybe double check that I don't have anything else running. Ugh. I'll be back momentarily. Oh, well, where's my timer? Ah, there it is. It minimized for some reason. Alright, good. Stopping timer, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, okay, okay. Back in. Good. So, apparently this must be some sort of community hotspot, because I just instantly got invaded twice after seeing nobody for the most of this game. A long, long, long time ago, the princess should Yes, just like so. Made you. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Huh. Stay away, foul undead, or you'll be a goner. <laughs> Stay back, it belongs to the princess, it do.
<laughs> you wish to guard the bell, you do. Oh shit. For the prince and the princess forever. For true. I hope this doesn't piss him off. Useless fool. Filthy undead! Be gone right now, it's off with- Crap. You know what? Scrag this. I've only got 300 souls. Bye-bye. Today, please. What's taking so long? I'm dead. Thank you. Now then, why might you ask that I just do that? I'm about to show you. I have no interest in finding out the hard way whether or not this game reserves the same mechanic in the previous game that if you abandon the covenant through inappropriate means, by betraying them, or doing something you're not supposed to, or god knows what else, that you get penalized in some way, or targeted by a covenant that is specialized in targeting people who broke covenants. I'm going to abandon oh. the covenant the proper way. <laughs> you do have a time. I have a covenant. Yes. Ooh, very right. Have you made friend? He's the end. You it satisfied? Okay, I just had a thought. I probably could have stood to have talking to him one more time before abandoning the covenant. Um, uh, but whatever. All right, let's get over there. And apparently, I need to have a covenant with the little midget shit there in order to get into this place, possibly without being invaded like crazy. Let's hope that that's the case. All right, here we go. Ah, crap. Dog's still here. I doubt this will go as well the second time. All right. I'm hoping that I can still accept his invitation like this. After having refused him once, and then he's not immediately permanently pissed off. You wished for the fruit! Alright, thank you for my free pass of entry. <laughs> yeah, for you. When you round the bell, you'll be brought near. When the bell is in trouble, the ring brings you here. Slice them to shreds, whoever they are, wherever, whoever be, they live and they fall. Slice them to pieces for the princess. Two bells that do something. Great. Apparently, joining the coven doesn't necessarily. I have no idea what to do with a situation like this. Yep, that seems appropriate. Apparently being dead in PvP it takes a while. Alright. Once more, we shall slay the dog. And all of a sudden he takes two hits. 
for whatever reason. Okay. Let's drag it. Okay, let's hope that all that that was was that having just joined the Covenant, it didn't take soon enough to keep me from being invaded. I'm pretty sure that he's just repeating himself now. Little midgets, just like him. Seemingly dead all over the place. That's a shortcut. One way. Is there something under here? No, doesn't look like it. So are the spirits that have been invading me the members of the Covenant? That they protect this place? Or are there any actual... Okay, great. And apparently it's doing some sort of mystical damage because it's getting around my shield. Ah, shit! Something's got an... Adorable. Just moving ahead. Now, it's possible that by advancing like this into the bell tower, which is possibly something I'm not supposed to do, I am risking a covenant betrayal, which would be just brilliant. Oh, of course, he can hit me. Yeah, these little fuckers are everywhere. I don't know what this is going to do, but whatever. Am I fat rolling for some reason? Okay, something happened. Metal clanking in gears. I'll get shot in the ass. Alright, I'm not concerned about getting back 580 souls. I think I got everything that's up top here. Now, did that ring the bell? And then some gl gears clanked afterwards? Like, I'm really concerned. about accidentally betraying this new covenant. Bellkeeper. Okay, so I'm still considered covenanted. I have no idea what that third thing underneath the covenant is. Now, I didn't get invaded. But I still have no idea whether I am allowed to attack those little black midgets or not. Or whether punching them will be considered a betrayal. Perhaps I should tap, talk to, uh... The one... This one. <laughs> In open the bell of the princess. In then the bell. Tell him to stretch. Tell him to fix. Gather around and ring the bell swift. We've been ringing this. Okay. So, I want to finish exploring this area for items. Apparently, looting it is not considered any kind of betrayal, so that's nice. Now then, how to get down on the other side. Well, that's nice. I appeared to block whatever the hell that thing was that he just threw at me quite nicely. I think I could get onto that pile of corpses and walk in the hole in the wall. Oh, wait. About to find out the hard way. Okay. Not dead. Good. This isn't going to be helping me. The place is swarming with enemies and knowing that one's coming. And where this ring to be automatically summoned to the world. Come on! Piss off! Right then. Now. Nah. Read the thing. Automatically summoned to invade Vader of the Bell Keeper's Domain. Twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who could never be united. The bell keepers are their eternal guardians, but that is their love. That is their curse. Does this do anything when I put it on? No, it just summons me. Okay, now I want to put my cat ring. Okay, that was just the sound of confirmation. It sounded like a sound of failure or rejection. And I can make that drop with the cat ring on. 
Okay, so you, doggy boy, are why I had 143 souls when I died. Couldn't figure out where I'd gotten those. I was considering that maybe one of these midgets had fallen off and died, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be worth more than 143 souls. So they're quite mighty enemies. What with the magic damage and the apparent speed and the ability to shoot arrows. Okay, so got to be a bit more tactful with it than that, but it does look like that's the way to get on there. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, I might be fat rolling. Shit. Not this way. Okay. Mm, almost. I think if I roll it, it will work. So, goodbye again. Just line that roll up properly. Ah, close. Perhaps a jump? Jumping is going to be hard, though. Shut up, bitch. Oh, the thing fell. That's nice. Yeah, this might work. I honestly don't care about this thing being here. And obviously there's still some latency. Really, couldn't they just piss off and leave me alone? I'm trying to explore. And now I have to wait for forever for them to disconnect, I guess. <sighs> there we go. Okay, what's my time? Fuck, I haven't had the clock going. Well, damn. Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop that timer. All right, and then I'm going to clip this right here. Check how much time I got left to see how much more of this belt-free exploration I'm going to be doing. I think I'm going to have to just suck it up and go fight the boss. I don't think this is going to lead me anywhere. This is obviously a segment all its own, which would explain why it's sealed behind a Pharaoh's lockstone. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. I've got five minutes. Now that's just enough time to double check for... Start the timer, get moving. Double check if there's not anything else here for me to do. That's kind of nice that I can just skip the ladder with the one. Now I think that the person that was just attacking me that last time had my very same set equipment set on. My sword and then my shield, obviously. Okay, so I want to get in there. I think that jumping on the pile of corpses may be the best way to it, but let's look for other alternatives. Yeah, like that. Please don't be a boss. Fucking hell! Now it goes without saying, but I'm trying to cut the tails off. And there are many more of them here than just these two. So I can't just kill one and try and get the tail off of the next. 
Which, of course, lends itself to the idea that maybe the tail can't be cut off since there's so many of them. Shit. I knew a running attack would be a bad idea, but I still wanted to try it. Life jam would be a bad idea. It takes too long. And then again, what doesn't at this point? At least it's not as much of a threat falling off the platform as the last instance of gargoyles in this game. So many bosses in this goddamn area. And by area, I am referring to fucking hell. Is another one of them waking up? Yep, another one of them waking them up. Of course he can refire. Why couldn't he? I'm going to have to fuck it with the trying to get the tail off and just kill them. Just the fire. Fortunately, I think my weapon is heavy enough that... Okay, of course, that got around me. If I can't see where the other ones are... Lands from breathing fire would normally be a perfect time to go in for an attack, but uh, not with the cover that they've got going right now. Just barely blocking things like that because I can't afford to change locked too well. Drink fast, man. Oh my god, I just barely healed out of that. This would not even be an attempt at a fight without this shield. Like you, gift wraith. I love you. That guy in the back doing. Damn it, that would have been a perfect opportunity to finish that thing. And he's flying and he's breathing fire! Come on, damn it, my fucking adrenaline's up! Time for attack to change. Shit, forgot about that. I hate that attack. Which one, which one? Guy in the back. Shit! Damn it, I didn't hear that last one get off. Ah, <sighs> and that's the end of an episode. Next one's coming right up, though. <sighs> Shit. Uh, have a good day. See you in the next two minutes. <laughs>